my channel. I am here today to do another makeup look kind of thing and I went to go see the Divergent movie last night and first of all, I friggin loved it. Like, wow. Such an amazing book to movie adaptation. I, I loved everything about it, everything about it. And you know, typically speaking, when books are made into movies for when it's like a series or a trilogy, the first movie is usually kind of like crap. But this one started off with a bang, so I'm so, so, so excited for the rest of them to come out. Anyways, that being said, today's makeup look that I'm planning on doing is Triss's look from Divergent. It's very, very simple, very easy to do, and I noticed myself looking at her makeup throughout the movie and just being like, it's so Triss, it's so simple, and it's so, it was just perfect. That's what I'm going to do today, and hopefully I can get it right. So let's get into it. I'm not wearing any makeup right now, so we're going to be doing this whole thing from scratch. I have also chosen an outfit that I think matches what Triss would wear. Yeah, that's right, I went all out. And then for my hair, I just did it as I normally would. When she had her hair down in the film, it was very much so just like down normally. It wasn't really styled a certain way, and then otherwise she just had it back in a ponytail. So I figured I'm just going to leave my hair down and it's just simpler that way. So we're just going to get started and I'm going to start by putting on my foundation and all that good stuff. In the film, Triss had very, very minimal makeup on and for her skin, it was very, very natural. So I'm not even going to be using foundation. I'm just going to be using a BB cream. So I'm using this Garnier BB cream and this is in light medium, though it should be in bright white because that's what I am right now. I'm just going to take some here and I'm just going to kind of dab it around my face really haphazardly. Also, my mirror is over here, so that's why I'm always going to be looking that way. And I'm just taking like a flat top kabuki brush and I'm going to blend it in to the skin and down the neck. I don't know why, but I've got like a patch of red skin right here. I don't know. It's not even like a pimple or anything. It's just red because it feels like it, I guess. So BB cream is essentially just like a tinted moisturizer. It's very, very light coverage, lightweight, easy to put on. Like you don't need to use a brush. You could just use your fingers. I just prefer to use a brush because I like to complicate things. Cool. So next thing I'm going to do are my eyebrows. And for this part, I am going to zoom you in so you can kind of see better what I'm doing to my eyes. Also, for anyone wondering, Jeff and I have moved, so that's why the background is different. We absolutely love the new house and I will do a house tour once we get everything unpacked. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows. Tris in the movie had a pretty strong eyebrow. I think Shailene Woodley just basically has pretty like dark eyebrows. So I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brow and eyeliner pencil and this is just in like a chocolate brown. I rubbed off the, the name so I don't know. So I'm going to take that starting here and back just very lightly just to darken up my eyebrows. So her eyebrows are super natural, super natural, like, ooh, not like ghostly, but like super au naturel, which was obviously awesome because Tris wouldn't be doing her eyebrows. I'm just doing this to darken them up because my eyebrows are super light. So then on top of that, I am going to take just an, an angled brush and then my e.l.f. brow kit in ash and I'm just going to take the light powdery color here and I'm going to put that on just the front here and then also over top just to soften up the dark color and then I put a fingerprint of it on my forehead. Everything's falling apart. So the eyebrows may seem a bit intense but really her eyebrows were very dark in the film so I just kind of want to keep with the theme. So she didn't really wear any eyeshadow. All I'm going to do just to kind of color correct the tops of my eyes, you can either put a concealer on top or what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Naked Basics palette and in this palette there is this color right here called Walk of Shame or WOS and it matches my eyelids. So I'm just going to take that on an eyeshadow brush, this is just a C brush, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Make sure everything's one color. And if you have any veins or anything showing, this will cover them. So now you may also notice that I didn't put on any concealer and I just think that like, I don't know, if you're in the divergent world, you're not gonna be covering up your blemishes. So I'm not either. So I'm not going anywhere today. So 
why bother? So now for the eyes, basically all they did is smudged a brown liner just across the top of her eyes and then a little bit underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same pencil that I used for my eyebrows and this is just a wet and wild eyeliner slash brow pencil in like dark brown or something. And then I'm just going to take it and draw a line on top of my eyelashes. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you do smudge it out. And I'm also going to tight line. So I've lost my smudge brush. Don't know where I went. Anyways, I'm just going to take this little, this little brush and I'm going to just kind of smudge out the line that I just made and just soften it up. And I like to build it up because it's always easier to add more than it is to take it away, so... Basically just keep adding till you have the intensity that you want. So as I said, it doesn't need to be perfect even after you smudge it out. I just think that it kind of adds to it if it's just a little bit messy. I don't know. So now what I'm going to do is take a, another small little brush and going back to my Naked Basics palette, I'm just going to take this chocolate brown color right here and I'm going to put smudge a little bit of that on top of the liner. So this just kind of helps to set your liner and it adds to that brown color a little bit. So I'm also going to take this pencil and I'm going to put a little bit underneath my lash line. And I know it's a really bad habit to pull down your eyes, it's just one that I, I can't seem to master doing it without it, so it is what it is. And then once again, going to take a little brush and smudge that out as well. And I should also mention I'm only doing this on the outer half of my lower lash line. So that's basically all that I'm going to do for the eyes besides mascara. And for mascara, I am going to use one that kind of wings out my eyelashes just a little bit. Now she didn't have like super thick lashes or anything like that. So I'm going to use the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Mascara and basically this just has a curved wand which will give you that kind of winged out effect. God, my battery's dying. Uh-oh. Okay, so I put on my mascara. I cut it out because it was just taking up too much of my time. So I did my mascara, top lashes and bottom lashes. And so that's the eyes done. Now, there wasn't any like bronzer or anything like that, but I am going to put in just a little bit of a contour because I feel like it gives just a little bit more of an edge. So I'm going to take just this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer kit and this one is in, what are you, St. Lucia? And it's just this really light matte bronzer. So I'm going to take that just here in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm not going to go past my eyebrow. And if you need help figuring out where to put it, you can do the fish face. But um, I already kind of have like a shadow there. It, like it already, you can already see. I haven't put any makeup on right there yet. And there's already a shadow. So mine just kind of like naturally has that shadow. But if not, then do the fishy face. And I'm also going to put a little bit up here and in my temples. And then of course, blend it out. So this step is completely unnecessary, but I don't know, I just think that it gives that extra edge. So for blush, I'm also going to take just a very natural color, and that's once again in this blush and bronzer kit. And it's just a very light peachy color, so very natural, and I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and up above the contour. So just to kind of give a light natural flush to the face, taking that flat top kabuki, I'm just going to kind of blend it all out. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clear brow gel and I'm going to put that in my eyebrows just to kind of keep them where they need to be. Just brush it through. And now of course the last thing you're thinking is lips but obviously Tris wasn't wearing any lipstick so I'm just going to take a lip balm and put it on. 
go. That, my friends, is all that it takes to get the look of Triss from the movie Divergent. I will bring you in for a close-up to see what the makeup looks like, but from a distance, this is what it looks like. Very natural, super easy, which is totally awesome. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. Welcome to my face, up and close. Up and close, up close and personal. So as you can see, just a very light flush on the cheeks, natural lips, and then the eyes are pretty natural as well. Just a little bit of brown smudgy liner and some mascara, top, bottom, and that's literally it. A strong brow for Tris because she's a strong girl, obviously. So I'm going to zoom you out again and I'm going to show you what outfit I picked for Tris. I feel so far away, but if you can see, I just picked a black undershirt, like a tank top, and then a black t-shirt, and these pants are kind of like an army green color with black leather down the leg. And if you want to put a jacket on, I also have a jacket that is also black. This jacket reminds me more of Katniss than Triss, but still it kind of fits that feel. And then I have like just the black boots to go along with it. So I don't know. Does it look like Triss? I'm not really sure. Maybe I need to put my hair up. I'm going to see if you can see better in this mirror. Okay, Kaya, you're ruining it. So the pants are, like I said, army green, and then check out my socks. They're panda bears. Cute. Anyways, getting distracted. So yeah, they're army green with like a leather stripe down them. And then I'm just wearing like a regular black t-shirt and a black jacket. So I don't know, it's too hot in here for a jacket right now. So that is the finished Triss look. Finished Trish look. That's hard to say three times fast. Finished Triss look. Finished, nope, can't do it. Anyways, that is my finished Triss look from the movie Divergent. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more looks of book to movie adaptation characters, like, I don't know, like a Katniss or an Effie or, I mean, anyone, it could be anyone, just let me know down below and I will try and do that for you because it's so fun to kind of bring your favorite characters to life with yourself as opposed to just in the movie. I don't know, Kaya's chewing on my towel, isn't she? Look at that. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because I totally appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys again soon.